Hi everyone, I'm back. Uh, as some of you might know, my, my main channel was hacked uh, a couple of days ago, and so I lost my channel for a couple of days, and it was kind of kind of scary. It's back now, hopefully for good. And uh, I thought for this channel, I would go through my Queen discography. I've got all of their studio albums. I don't have any. I don't have any live albums or anything. I I would like to get their their first live album at some point. Live Killers. Uh, but right now it's just all the studio albums and the, the soundtrack. And so let's go through it. These are the twenty thousand, the two thousand and eleven uh, remasters. There. So there's Queen One, and I I remember when one of my older brothers bought this back when it came out, and first thing that came to mind was Led Zeppelin. It sounded similar to Led Zeppelin, so I was definitely a fan right away. And all of them come with these very nice booklets. And I did rank all of these albums on my other channel. So what I'll do for this is I'll just let you know. I'll give a rating for each one, but I won't rank them or anything. So I would give this, it's damn good. I would give that a solid 8 out of 10, a high 8 out of 10. One of my favorite songs is Keep Yourself Alive. And then uh, Great King Rat. Modern Times Rock and Roll. And even some songs that I didn't care for in the past, like Jesus and Son and Daughter. I like a lot more now. Queen 2. This is the one Queen album that I haven't played as much as some of the others. And I do like it, but it's never been a favorite. And I think part of it has to do with the, uh, the production. So for right now, I would give this a, a 7 out of 10. But I know, you know, it's some Queen's favorite uh, album. Maybe I'll listen to it again tonight. Put that over there. Yeah, and I bought this as soon as it came out. Queen, Sheer Heart Attack. Absolutely love it. It's funny when uh, the first time Brighton Rock came on and Freddie Mercury was singing in his falsetto. It was such a shock. And it reminded me and my friend of Russell Mail of Sparks, uh, who were really big at, at the time <clears throat> at the time in uh, the UK. I'm losing my voice. Love the pictures <clears throat> that you get in the booklet. I would give this a... Well, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Then, A Night at the Opera. I don't know if you've ever heard the song Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> yeah, and I bought this when it came out and loved it. There were some songs like the Prophet song I never got into, but it, you know, I appreciate that song a lot more now. So yeah, I would give this a 10 out of 10. And I would say, uh, along with the Beatles, of course, they are probably, they're not my favorite band, they, but they'd be, you know, high up in my rankings of favorite bands. But they would definitely be right at the top as one of the most talented for, <laughs> for members of any band. 
And then the Queen, A Day at the Races, which was also good, very good. I would give it a, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I like it, <clears throat> well I love it a lot more than I did, you know, back when it came out it was kind of, uh, not, I don't, I think it would be hard to surpass a night at the opera, but they did a great job. And then, news of the world. Bought that when it came out. I absolutely loved it. And remember, no synthesizers. <laughs> the gatefold. Yep. 10 out of 10. We Will Rock You, We Are the Champions, Sheer Heart Attack. Yeah, all of the songs I love. It's Late is awesome. Yeah. Now this is, I, this might be my favorite Queen album. Uh, I think it's underrated. Jazz. That was the gatefold. And I bought, oh, so Jazz is a 10 out of 10. And so is News of the World, in case I didn't rate it. And then Queen, the game I bought, and once again, loved it. John Deacon, Brian May, Roger Taylor, and Freddie Mercury. And what a great live band, too. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Flash Gordon. I, I, I think I, I played it once on my main channel, Does the album Suck? Because I never had this. And so I bought it, and I listened to it, sped up the video, and... I forget if I said it sucked or not, but it's not a favorite of mine. But it's Queen. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. And maybe, actually I might be wrong, maybe, maybe I was just ranking it tonight, and that's when I bought it, and it was low on the, <laughs> on the rankings. I think it was Hot Space that I did the Does This Album Suck or Not, and I don't think, I think I said it does not suck, but still, it's not one of my favorites, and I never did buy it when it came out. And I would give this a, uh, yeah, there's not too much I care for on this, but I haven't listened to it in a while. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10.
And then, yeah, I stopped buying Queen at this point. Not that I hated them or anything, I just lost interest in them. And Queen the Works came out. Yeah, I love uh, Radio Gaga, it's is great. I want to break free and hammer to fall. But I don't play this very, very often. I would give it a 8 out of 10. It's a kind of magic. I know, I know, I sound just like Freddie Mercury. A kind of magic, once again, I never bought it. Uh, I love a kind of magic. One vision is okay, yeah. I think I like the works better than this one. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I love the artwork though. And once again, with the miracle, I never bought it. I would give this a maybe a seven out of ten. Thumbnail. And then sadly the last album recorded before Freddie passed away, Innuendo, which is, along with Jazz, my favorite Queen album. I love this a lot. I so, yeah, The Miracle's a 7. I would give this a 10. Yeah. Yeah, all of these albums have the lyrics. I think my, my favorite underrated song by Queen is Ride the Wild Wind. It would be in my top ten, probably top five. And then Innuendo, I'm going slightly mad, headlong. Maybe the only song I'm not big on is All God's People. Delilah, I love. The show must go on. Yeah. These are the days of our lives. Just so good. And then sadly, the last one, I didn't buy the, the later albums with uh, Paul Rogers or whatever. Made in Heaven, which I don't play very much. I will give this a 7 out of 10. And end it with that picture. Really nice. And that is it. Well, I'll end it with that picture. Actually, open this up. I guess it's the same as that. Yeah. 
And that is it. I would love your thoughts on Queen in the comment section below. And, uh, you know, let me know which are your favorite and least favorite albums by Queen. And favorite songs. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.